Today we'll be discussing how to create sitemaps. There are two types of sitemaps, XML and HTML. XML documents act like a map for your site, allowing a search engine robot to know which pages to check first for updates since it last crawled. It helps to speed up the process in terms of page discovery and indexing for the search engines. It also allows search engines to find really deep pages within your site. So if you have deep content at four or five subfolders within your website, this sitemap can help search engines find that easier. An HTML sitemap is actually geared more toward our human visitors than search engines. It shows each one of the major sections of our website and then all of the subpages within each of those sections. So it gives a nice little breakdown of all the web pages on our site and helps our visitors to easily find the content they want. You can check to see if your website has a sitemap by going to your domain, followed by forward slash sitemap.xml or sitemap.html. To begin, you can see we've got our URL here, verticalmeasures.com slash sitemap.xml, showing our XML sitemap. This will show you what an XML sitemap looks like, and here you can see you've got the URLs listed as well as the priorities, the change frequency, and the last change. If you don't have a sitemap, you can build one easily by going to xml-sitemaps.com or using Screaming Frog software. As you scroll down, it gives you instructions. There are four simple steps. First, enter your root domain. Then you will want to change the sitemap creation frequency in this dropdown. There are several options depending on how frequently you change or add content. This gives the search engines an idea of how much they should visit. So if you're adding an article every week, you might say weekly. The next option is to choose the response time. We recommend choosing the server's response time. Lastly, priority. We recommend choosing automatically calculated priority. This allows the site to calculate the priority of the sitemap. Click Start and allow the site around five minutes to process your sitemap. In order to use your newly created sitemap, you must upload it to your server like any other page. This process varies for each situation, so check with your hosting provider for details. If you'd like to know more about sitemaps, or you're interested in working with Vertical Measures for organic SEO and content marketing, you can visit us at verticalmeasures.com.